this is episode 12 of my special series, The Entrepreneur Alphabet. I keep on saying it. Don't be the bottleneck in your business because when you are, you're stuck. And when you're stuck, your business is stuck. So I created this series so you can understand what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur and therefore avoid you getting stuck. In this series, I share practical A to Z insights across 26 short episodes, yes, 26, like the number of letters in the alphabet. And today we cover the letter L for listening. But before moving any further, don't forget to subscribe to my podcast so you never miss any new episode. During the sales or leadership training courses I deliver, I enjoy using an exercise called the repeater. The principle is simple. I start a short sentence, then volunteer a participant whom I ask to first repeat my sentence word for word. The word for word is a critical part here. And second, randomly add onto it whatever they want to say. So for instance, I'd say something like, today we're together to learn about sales. I point to someone who would repeat, today we're together to learn about sales, then would have anything of a choice like, the weather is beautiful. Next, he or she points out someone else who has to recite the new longer sentence word for word. In my example, it would be, today we're together to learn about sales, the weather is beautiful, and then add something extra to it. We then move to the another person and so on. It's very easy to lose track of the words if you don't pay attention, but that's exactly the point. And participants' reaction speaks volume. They sit straighter on their chairs, prick up their ears and get into an active listening mode. You can see they are using their entire body to listen. The more participants, the deeper people's attention become because they do not want to miss out any words. It's fascinating. I encourage you to do this exercise at work with your leadership team. You might come to the same conclusion than me, and that is simply people do have the ability to listen. And since you have the ability to listen, you have certainly heard me say, don't be the bottleneck in your business. I suggest you log on my website and download my ebook, Seven Tactics to Avoid Being the Bottleneck in Your Business, right now. You will find the link in the show notes. Now, when was the last time you were truly listening? In episode 29 of Interviews Cracking the Entrepreneurship Code, Anita Toth, a churn expert, explains that clients don't leave for one reason only. It's a combination of several elements. She says knowing your clients starts by listening to them. For her, having tools like heart maps and customer journeys is great, but they are incomplete because they don't tell you why people do the things they do. They don't tell you why they like this or that product. And they don't tell you why your customers have left. So one of Anita's recommendations is to spend time collecting qualitative feedback from your customers, aka listening, and then feed your marketing with the info you collected. Listening, and by listening I mean truly listening, is a skill. And like any skill, you need to learn it, then practice it to get better at it. The truth is we never listen enough. Let me share three examples that demonstrate our lack of listening. Number one, when our brain starts wandering around, while our interlocutor is speaking and we lose complete attention of what is said. Number two, when we are formulating our answer in our mind while our interlocutor has not finished talking. And number three, when we quickly interrupt someone because we absolutely want to give our opinion. This usually goes together with example two. Are you guilty of any of those? I know I am. Now imagine how such a behavior can impact sales missing opportunities, showing a careless or arrogant attitude to prospects, imposing our ideas, among other examples. Customers frequently complain about salespeople not understanding their needs. I mean, how can they if they don't listen? 
Darren Burke, the founder of Outcast Foods, says the following. It's episode 85 of interviews cracking the entrepreneurship code. Constantly listen to the marketplace and respond accordingly. Make sure your eyes and ears and mouth are working accordingly. Listen to everything, ask questions, and then respond and change accordingly. So our products and business constantly evolve with the changing landscapes and the marketplace we're doing business in. Seriously, when was the last time you spoke to a customer? You know, the person that pays for your bills. And actually, when was the last time your team members talked to a customer? And by the way, are there any people in your team who have never spoken to a customer? Claiming your customer centric is one thing, but being customer centric is another thing. And it starts by making sure your entire organization constantly listens to your customers because 100% of your employees work for the same people, the real boss, the customers. So everyone in your company, regardless of the department, tasks and responsibilities should always keep in mind that their goal is to add value to the customers. Don't assume you're in your client's heads because you're not. If you want to test your assumptions, know how your clients feel, behave, and most importantly, understand why they do the things they do. The best approach is to simply ask them, then truly listen to their answers and the words they use. What is true for your clients is also true for your staff, by the way. How much time do you spend listening to them? By default, an entrepreneur is a leader. And as a leader, your job is to grow your people. One of the best ways I know to do so is to listen to them. Because you must understand what they're really good at. So you give them the right tasks and responsibilities. You also must understand their pain points so you can remove them and provide for their needs. It's important as leader in the business actually to be seen and not be in some ivory tower to actually talk to people and listen to them and connect with them and bring them into the business in the right way. That is Paul Baker, the founder of St. Pierre Group. You can catch the full conversation with him on episode 46 of Interviews Cracking the Entrepreneurship Code. Anyway, we should all learn to speak less and listen more. I mean truly listen. And entrepreneurs are on the front line to lead by example. What happens in a workshop where participants are forced to adopt a listening attitude through a fun exercise can also take place outside. As I mentioned earlier, listening is a skill, and like any skills, getting better at it requires practice. There are dozens of occasions a day to train your listening muscle. But listening is an attitude too. You need to switch your listening mode on. So for instance, make time for people. Be genuinely interested in what they have to say. Don't judge. Clear up your mind from any possible interferences while you're talking to them. And then understand that your behavior will always show your listening quality. So knowing that, learn to remove any potential distractions like your mobile phone, for instance. Use your entire body when you're having a conversation. For example, maintain eye contact. Let your interlocutors finish their sentences and don't hesitate to ask questions to clarify comprehension. How well do you listen? My guess is you can always improve. I hope you've truly listened to this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please share it with your network so we can inspire as many entrepreneurs as possible. See you next time. Bye for now.